These people aren't boxers, they're computer engineers. And it may not look it, but they're at work right now. Their company, an e-commerce startup called NextJump, wanted to increase its employees' productivity by encouraging exercise and healthy living. They built a free gym in their office building, but when only 5 to 10 percent of employees used the facility regularly, they realized it wasn't enough. So, NextJump stepped up its game. We've been using gamified thinking for thousands of years. The military kind of invented this idea in the first place with badges, you know, and levels that they gave out. Good gamification aligns people's intrinsic desire and motivation with a kind of reward system that the society or people or company can afford to provide. Next Jump now divides all its employees into teams. A team gets points each time one of its members works out. Employees check in at a computer station at the front of the gym, and an online leaderboard keeps track of each employee's workout points. At the end of the week, the team with the most workouts gets wow points, which they can redeem for products online. I think in a lot of ways it's the application of technology to principles that have been in existence for decades. So it's related to positive reinforcement, which is something we've been talking about with parents for a very long time and why it can be effective and how to use it. So in a lot of ways this is utilizing technology to sort of achieve those gains. I'm definitely one who's very receptive to games myself. So if you show me um, uh, what my status is in the company in terms of number of workouts, if you show me how, many, how I've been on a streak for the last couple of weeks, that'll get me to the gym. Next Jump says its employees' gym attendance rate is now up to 80%. One of the biggest misconceptions about gamification is it's all about making everything into a game. And that really creates a big barrier for people to understand how it might be applicable in the work context and certainly in places like education. Yeah, it's fine for kids to play games, but what about adults? The truth is gamification isn't about making the world into a game. It's about taking the best ideas from games and applying those in contexts where they can be useful to create positive change in people's behavior. It's a quick speed, 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 my speed. Yep, 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 there you go. Turn the hands over. Turn the hands, turn over. Good, good, chin out, chin out, chin out.